morning, beautiful family. Welcome back to another video. I just literally came in the house from running from a June bug. Just about broke my ankle. And I felt like he was chasing me. Which he probably wasn't. But I felt like he was. So the neighbors are probably looking like, what's going on over there at that house? Why is she running through the yard? With a cleaning rag in my hand and cleaning supplies because I was cleaning out my car. Now I'm taking a watermelon break and coffee. But I need a water. Hold up. Auntie needs her water fixed for today. Because y'all know she's trying to lose weight. Too. Remy is aggressively eating food in the background, as always. You would think he doesn't get fed. <laughs> Seriously. What time is it? It is 11.26 a.m. And as you can see, I'm not covered in paint. I'm in chill mode, right? Ron is going back to work after being off for seven days. And as you know, probably don't know, mm -hmm. we didn't take a vacation or anything. We did house stuff. <laughs> we did house stuff, literally. That bookshelf was an undertaking. And we weren't going to stop till it was done. Now, I'm looking at her from here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, sis. 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 Okay, sis. <laughs> you. Oh, oh, shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, poked you in the eye with the fork. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Oh, my God. Sit up right. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry. That's what I get for being me. I was trying to do that. Mm -mm, like that. And actually poked you in the eye. I'm sorry. Starts to get violent over here on this channel, right? But anyway, sis. It's just art. It's art to me. You know how you can create, right? This is interior decorating, Sharon talking. Okay. Class and session. No tape measure, no math needed. <laughs> okay. Alexa, turn on the den lights to a hundred percent. She's so extra. Shut up, girl. Okay, so we've had this conversation, right? About the placement of the awkwardness of the family room, right? I gave y'all the whole spiel. As to why I done it the way I did it, right? And so, interior decorating Sharon, right, saw a vision. She had a vision. And I tell you guys this all the time. This is the weirdest angle. Makes me look like I have a damn double chin. Or do I really have a double chin? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I do. Okay. Maybe I should turn you this way. So, while I'm talking, you can see. Okay, that's not good. Hold on. Okay, class in session. <laughs> now you can see. You can you, now you can see. Per this is the perfect angle. Now you bootleg rigged up, so if you cut a flip, fall over, we'll start over. Okay. I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day first. So I have on. I call this a moo moo. Okay. It's very befitting for my personality. Tie dye because I'm a gypsy girl, and it has a knot. Tied in it. Okay, anyway, that's not what the video's about. This is interior decorating Sharon. Okay. So I told y'all this. 
Now, I'm the interior decorator that's going to give you a realistic, attainable view, viewpoint, ideas, tips for your own home. I'm not going to be the one to try and sell you expensive stuff, okay? It ain't even necessary. I mean, if you, you know, if your funds run that long, by all means do so. Now, I am a firm believer of mixing and matching high and low, okay? But I'm never going to have you thinking you have to spend a boatload of money to have a luxe look in your home. I'm also going to be the one who always tell you that a lot of times it's not even about what you have. It's about how you place what you have. All interior decorators have a rule book I think they kind of follow, right? I'm an exception to that. I, there's no rule book for me. It's a do as you please, and it's a do as whatever makes you happy. I'm that type of interior decorator tip person to you. Okay, so we've already discussed, class, why I positioned this this way. Pay no attention to all of this construction stuff. I, mean, I told you, this house is always under construction for right now. So as you can see, you can see the whole layout now. Right? You can see it. You can see it. And from where you're sitting is literally right like right behind you. You're in the kitchen. Right behind you is the entryway coming from the other side of the dining room. Over here is the door, the other hallway that you can come in as well. So you come in two ways to get to this central point. Right? Okay. So now that we've completed the program in this area right the placement i'm wanting i'm not trying to convince you i'm just trying to show you because we've already talked about this but now the placement now you can see let me say that you can see why the placement of this was so important in an awkward shaped space always work with the space you're given tip number one right you work with what you have so it was an awkward space. Always have been. He never knew what to do with this space. Like, what What do you do? Okay? Everything's off-centered. It's just really weird. Now, most people, a lot of you guys asked me, you know, why wouldn't I have put <clears throat> this around the fireplace? Which is typically how you see most bookshelf situations. They're surrounded by... The fireplace is the focal point, and then the bookshelf situation goes around it, and then the TV's mounted, you know, above the fireplace. That's typically how you see it, right? Would you agree? Okay, yeah. In this case, we totally could have done that, but here's, my brain thinks a little bit different than I think a lot of people. It's like visually, I'm so visual, first of all, I see it. And it might not make sense, even if I try to explain it to someone, it may not make a bit of sense to you, but I can visually see it before it even exists, right? In this video, you can see, you see this wall right here, how it goes up, 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 up toward the top of the bookshelf, like it goes up, slanted, right? And you can see here you have less space on the fireplace side, and then there was more space on this side. Take the bookshelf away, right? So, in building a unit like this around this, in my brain, the way my brain thinks, that slanted wall would have still made me feel off balance, even with the square bookshelf that way. And because it is lower on this side, goes up higher on that side, it would not have been as big of a bookshelf either on this side. Would it have been a focal point? Absolutely, because you're looking right now at just fireplace, mirror, two little situations. It would have made a grand situation, but in my mind, it would have still been off balance to me because that wall is slanted. And we would have had a ton of dead space where the bookshelf is now. So in my mind, I saw focal point one, bam, center furniture to focal point, 
right? No bookshelf around the fireplace. I can enjoy the fireplace without that being the center for me on either side, right? Now this dead space wall, which is also really, really tall, okay, is now a focal point from this angle though, because you don't see this. You can see it from where I have you sitting, but coming in this way, or even just walking straight in, you won't see it till you stand where I am. Like you come around the island, or you come all the way in, then you see it. It's sort of hidden behind the staircase. You can see the staircase protruding out. I love that look. I knew when I saw the staircase and I knew how much it meant to him, I said, the only way to make this staircase make sense and make it look artsy is to bring it black. Take it black, okay? Again, it's a very used staircase to the other side of the house. You have the front entry, staircase way, and then you have this way. Remy used these steps, Ron's kids use these steps. They get a lot of use, right? And it has a sentimental value to him. He can explain to you why it's so sentimental to him, right? But I'm a person who likes to mix. I don't like one way things. I like to mix what I love together with other stuff to make it make sense to me. Even if it doesn't make sense to you, a guest coming over, it doesn't matter to me. It's all about how you, at the end of the day, feel about the space you're in. Not your neighbor, not your mom, your daddy, your sister, your cousin. If you make YouTube videos, not the viewers. It's all about what does it make you feel like in any design in your home, period. Even if it's dated furniture, okay? Dated. Even if you thrifted everything and upcycled, and I don't care. I don't care. As long, the point is, okay, this is my point. As long as you're happy with it, can't another person and don't let another person make you second guess your space, your design, how you have it set up, okay? I'm just here to share my own personal little tips because I think in my mind, I am an interior decorator, okay? I think we all do that love home decor. We are interior decorators. I told y'all we can be anything we want to be. All you got to do is put the title on your name. This is Interior Decorating Channel. Okay, so now we have balance in the space minus all this construction stuff. To me, it just looks natural. Still so much walking space there. Even with my huge double... Um, Alexa, turn on the dim lights to 100%. Who told her to turn them off? Don't you see we in class? Girl, shut up. Okay, so, balance now, right? Total balance to me. I don't know if you see what I see, but I see balance. So much walk space in between the, um, and the main thing, which, which was one of Ron's concerns about, did she turn the down lights back up? Alexa, turn on dim lights to 100%. Please, the device you know what? It's, 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 this, this, this smart home stuff is so beyond me. <laughs> All those that y'all have these smart damn houses, a dummy like me don't like it. Okay, I just like to cut the switch on and keep it moving. She need to turn the damn light on. This one answering, the one in there trying to answer, they all trying to do something. It's too much. I think I need to go near her, but I want to show you something anyway, so come on. <sighs> Let's talk to this Alexa over here, because I don't know what's going on with the other one. Alexa, turn den lights on to 100%. Okay. Alexa, turn mantle lights on to 100%. Look, she's still back there damn talking. Lady, shut up. There's too many of them in here. Okay, look. So, I'm leaning you back because I want you to see. This is the only way I'm going to be able to show you. Look how much space still to the top of the freaking ceiling. From the top of this tall bookshelf. Still a ton of space, right? Steps. Let me show y'all. I'm, I'm going to give you a quick demo because I don't know what the hell Ron, why him is taking so long to uh, put these treads on 
these things right here. But I'm going to show you all what it looked like. They have to be screwed down so I don't nobody break the angle. But I'm going to show you just how it looks when they are on there. Give you an idea, at least. How they look. Just do a couple of them. Oh, so you can see. Okay. Now, come over here with me. Sissy. So that's how they'll look going up the stairs. Very pretty, right? And then this big one is for the landing up at the very top. Um, so yeah, that's how they look. They have to be screwed down from the bottom so that they don't, you know, fall off and kill somebody or whatever. But the point I'm trying to make here is I wanted to turn this structure into art. And by doing so, I just went with the black and I knew it would look beautiful with the stained treads that matches this floor and soon to be this floor. Because Ron has decided that he doesn't want to laminate this floor, which is what's down now. He's just going to hire Chris to come back and do hardwood here. Just extend this floor all the way over here into this space. The room here will be laminated. Okay. So that's how the stairs will... Look how pretty that is from here. Remy, ain't nobody told you to come get in class, sir. But that's how the stairs will look with the treads on there and the bookshelf. Now listen, this morning I got up and I said, okay, Sharon, let's go to Home Goods. <laughs> and we're gonna go to Home Goods and do some damage. So I got up and I got dressed. Are you gonna sit up and behave? No, you probably don't wanna. I want to sit that way so y'all can look at that bookshelf, but <laughs> I'll sit this way. So I got up this morning and I went to Home Goods, right? And I have a plan. Like, no, not, not really a plan. It is my desire to pick the right pieces for this bookshelf, okay? Which. I will do probably a whole styling of the bookshelf as a separate video, right? So I go in Home Goods, the one that's nearest here, um, to where I'm at now here at the Chateau. I went to that one. Well, was yeah. And can I just say this is probably the first time I've ever went in Home Goods and got overwhelmed. I'm talking overwhelmed okay to the point I was like you know what let me get out of here and go and regroup I actually went and sat in the car for about 15 minutes talked on the phone just kind of trying to right and I went back in the store and overwhelmed so much stuff right I'm a person, I need things to speak to me. It has to speak to me and just about hop in the buggy. It has to hop into the buggy and be like, yes, I'm going home with you. I belong with you, right? So much <laughs> stuff that I could have brought home, right? But it would have been just stuff to fill the bookshelf. Easy to do, really easy. This bookshelf situation is now sentimental to me because of why and how it was constructed for me, right? So like the stairs are sentimental to him, this bookshelf means the world to me. So the items that I put on the bookshelf, I need them to mean something to me. Now I could easily, like the two top areas like my Buddha head which I absolutely love in white and my little um lady well some people say it's a man I don't know but the white ceramic lady that's at the house 
those two pieces would be beautiful at the very tops. They're big enough spaces to house them both. And they're both white. And they will pop off that gray backdrop. Right? Those two pieces mean something to me. They're at the penthouse and I've had them for quite some time. Well, the Buddha is newer, but the other one is, she's been with me for a very long time. If you guys have been following, you know, the penthouse journey and prior to this life, right? So stuff like that, right? And I'm thinking too, maybe I will bring those two items because they are my two favorite things that I have. But I don't just want to fill the bookshelf with a bunch of stuff because that's easy to do. I could have easily done that today. I was overwhelmed. And I've never been at Home Goods and got overwhelmed. Let me know down below if you've ever went in a store. And it's probably because I knew I was trying to pick certain things. And I saw so many things. And it overwhelmed me. Okay. Now, I gotta go to the penthouse today. Um, so I'm gonna stop at that Home Goods. The one by me. And see if I still have the same feeling of overwhelmingness. Hopefully I don't. But if I do, then it's just going to be a process of literally hand-picking pieces to go on this bookshelf. Let's look at her. She's just, she's just, she's everything to me. Look at her. Just look at her. Oh. Mm. Who that is? Look at <laughs> He's stupid. Hey, baby. Yeah. You need a break? Yeah. Come here. You know, just people walking in here looking. What's the 411? I'm recording today's video. Oh my god. Baby, what you about to do? <laughs> Man, you don't just walk in here and start doing stuff. What, what you doing, Ron? Get the lights. Did you show the lights though, right? We showed them on camera when, when you first got them, I think. I thought we did. So, y'all, that was y'all's class for today. No tape measure, no math. You saw that, right? Not even neat for the, today's lesson. I hope you took something from it. I hope you did. Um, I can't think of anything else that I need to show you other than how the treads will look on the stairs, okay? And the whole bookshelf situation. I actually recorded earlier today, and I may clip. Well, how long is this video? No, I probably won't. Maybe I'll upload them at the same time since y'all like long videos, and it'll just be a two for one. Because I actually recorded this morning while I was getting dressed. And then this video, for that was for class. Baby, you want some watermelon? I cut it in pieces. Listen to Remy. He is doing the absolute most, man. His daddy don't want it in Y'all didn't hear a peep out of him the whole time. And now listen to all that in the background. He wants daddy's attention, but his daddy over there playing with them lights. Babe, mm -hmm. he's so busy. He is so busy. Mm -hmm. Look at Ron's size compared to that bush. That gives you an idea how massive that thing is. Listen, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. It may be a two for one to make up for all my absences in not going live, which I do plan to do um, really soon. I promise you. I don't know if it'll be here at the penthouse. Um, I do want to show y'all my new mirror, but I need to redo it because it's messed up. And yeah, so maybe I'll upload this video with the one I did this morning and you'll have like an hour long video with them combined. So make sure you watch them both, like them, and leave me a comment down in the comment section on how you feel about everything that we discussed. Today's a good go swimming day, but I got other plans. Okay, see y'all in the next video. Bye.